I think I screwed it up. All right. Boys and girls, girls and boys. This is going to be like a two part, two parts to this. Anyhow, I screwed it up by looking at messages and then I turned the phone off. Anyhow, prayer is up for somebody named Nick. One of my subs, her son fell down the stairs uh, last night and was rushed to the hospital. He got dizzy because he has uh, kidney problems, um, kidney issues, and um, his mom would love prayers up. His mom, Terry, would love prayers up. And I'm um, asking for prayers up for him. His name is Nick. Um, I'm asking for prayers up for still my sister Karen. Please healing prayers. Please keep them up. She needs them. And um, who else needs prayers up? Okay. Prayers up for Devin because he's not breathing right. Anyhow, um, thank you for those prayers up. Okay, now let me get to uh, Scorpio. Let me put you down and stop fooling around. Okay. Okay. So Scorpio, this is going to be like, you know, my hot mess style, but that's okay. And then I'll, I'm, I have some pages for Libra, but that might have to be a different video, but we'll see. We'll see what we could do. Okay. We'll see what we could do. Okay. Scorpio. Um, this might resonate for some Scorpios out there. It might resonate as you saying this, or it might resonate as somebody saying this to the Scorpio. Okay. Um, you like your significant other might be saying this to you or your friend or your ex, or just you might be saying this to somebody. Okay. So take whatever resonates my phone dies, uh, I'm just going to go home, okay, because now I'm getting tired. All right, so Scorpio, somebody, you or somebody else is saying, did you, did you really love me? Did you ever love me? Did you ever really love me? Okay, we can conquer anything together. Are you saying that or somebody saying that to you? Like, in other words, you're hitting a hot spot. You're hitting a spot that one person isn't as lovey-dovey as the other person. One person isn't that into the other person in the relationship with the Scorpio. So it's either you, Scorpio, not being lovey-dovey, or it's the other person that your significant other that isn't being as lovable or you're not passionate about them like you used to be or they're not passionate about you, okay? So it's whatever fits, whatever scenario fits in that, in that thing. Yeah, but for some I feel like, I feel like it's 50-50. I feel like there's some Pisces, uh, Pisces, Pisces is done. Okay, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Pisces is done, even though it's still your season. And I still love you. Okay, anyhow. Um, a Scorpio, some 50% of the Scorpios out there are saying, did you ever really love me? And there, or, and some, the other 50% of the Scorpios are saying to you, Scorpio, do you really love me? Or is it just convenient for you? Or are you just loyal to a fault? Okay. They want to see more passion. So do you want to see more passion, Scorpio? Do you want to hear more words of love? Hey, I love you. I love you. Or are you being cheap with the affection and love? Okay. I am so glad I was able to freaking spit that one out. And I'm proud of myself. Okay. Even though you're probably out there saying, well, you really don't have any reason to be proud of yourself because it came out all effed up. Okay. Well, that's me. All right. Before my Jesus juice time. Okay. So. And I'm also a legit low key excited or high key excited that Devin is picking up my favorite kind of pizza, which is eggplant and onions and olives all over my pizza. Yeah.
Let's do it. Pizza night. I know that's creepy. I don't know why I creep myself out. I'm not, it's not funny. It's creepy. And I just freaking creeped myself out. Okay. I'm sorry guys, but I'm really sweating. And I wish I had a hair thingy. I do. I do. Somebody gave me this. Who gave me this hair thingy? Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. One second. I have the AC on, but I don't feel it. So I'm going to have to pump it up to three. Oh, it's, it was just on my feet. Oh, there it go. There it goes. Oh, that's nice. I look like I'm truly bald. Oh, and this wasn't my fault. I'm not going to tell you whose fault it was. Cause they might get sad. Anyhow. Okay, that feels better. So, did you really ever love me, the Scorpio says, or the person to the Scorpio? But we can conquer anything together, so don't leave. So, you're saying that to somebody? Or are they saying it to you? Um, hurting you is my biggest regret. Hurting you is my biggest regret. A past relationship. A past relationship it, you're thinking about a lot lately. And they're thinking about you too. Past relationship. Could even just be a friendship. It could be a family member that you used to be close with, but you're not clo so close anymore. And you're thinking about old times. And don't worry, I see a lot of coming together, um, past relationships. Just don't get back with an ex. Because I wrote it down. Getting back with your an ex is like. I wrote it down. It was a funny phrase. I saw it. Getting back with your ex is like putting poop back in your butt, okay? Doesn't work. You can't do it, right? So just be friends and just have closure. Okay, anyhow, if it didn't work then, it's not going to work now. We're grown. We're already formed, okay? So, Scorpio, a past relationship is going to come into play. Um somebody says I think about you so much and you're thinking about somebody so much too but you're not admitting it you're not going to admit it because you're secretive Scorpio uh, I'm afraid to approach you okay I tell I'll tell them they just said don't forget to tell them this some Scorpios out there there's a third party so the third party can come in as a friend but you're already in a relationship with, as a, a couple, but there's a third party. And a third party can come in as a new person or a person from the past. So either way, that third party is effing up your relationship presently, okay? So we can't do three things. We can't do three relationships. It doesn't work, okay? So I think about you so much. I'm afraid to approach you. Um, close the door on the past. That's what I just said. Close the door on the past. Put the period at the end of the sentence. Um, Scorpios, you will get approved on something that you're looking for approval on. Maybe it's a job, maybe it's money, maybe it's a loan. You're gonna get an answer that you hoped for, but you are gonna have to work your butt off. Okay, Scorpios are used to that. They're tough people. Okay, um, you're going to get an answer that you hoped for, and you've been let down in the past, and you tried to build your walls up again, haven't you? Scorpio, you can't get the love that you want and the career things that you want and the friendships that you want if you got those b damn bricks up again. Get them down. Start going out again. Okay, so get your answer that you hope for. You've been let down, but now accept the new. Yeah, accept the new Scorpio that's coming in. Love is coming in. Don't restrict yourself. Shift starting a life with someone. Okay. 
and stay away from the Capricorn card kept coming up, which is usually like a, not saying bad about Capricorn, but just saying what the Capricorn card represents um, kind of like a negative toxic person, a person that is kind of like going to steer you down a bad way, or are you steering them down a bad way? It's just like that fun friend that you could do anything with and they're not going to judge you. You're not going to judge them, but you can't be with that fr fun friend seven days a week because both of you would need rehab. Okay. <laughs> or you would like spend too much money with that one person, or you would uh, maybe fight too much or it, it's just, they don't balance you out. They just are the fun friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But Scorpio, they're telling me, the guides are telling me you need more stability. Okay. I'm just going to stop for one second because I, I did this new thing where I shuffled the cards thinking what messages for Scorpio for March well, messages for, for May, April and May and June. So I'm just going to tell you what I got. Oh my gosh, a Scorpio, a Scorpio, not my daughter, a Scorpio friend, Lisa. She's a Scorpio. She just texted me. She just texted me. What is she, what is she in tune? Scorpio is you're very psychic if you would just use it. And I know this looks terrible like this, but when you're hot and you're having a flat... If spirit wants to come in to give me Scorpio messages, I invite you in. I don't mind, you know, roasting hot. So just let me know, okay? Because what, what, I always want to help the Scorpios. Okay, so for March, I got this one. I got two of summer. Okay, I like the sound of that. And it says falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone forgiveness and the resolution of a problem don't give up Scorpio don't give up your relationship can be healed oh that makes me really happy so Scorpio what the what they're saying is in March the month of March is going to be very busy very tough because you're getting things in order maybe you're getting a gig you're getting a job you're getting a different job you're starting a side business whatever it is business-wise, money-wise, but you're going to start to see the pentacles because the pentacle cards came up a lot. But it's saying, don't give up on your relationship. It can be healed. You got to talk about it. You got to ask these people, your significant others, um, you know, do you want to be serious with me? Or if you did something that was a little bit low-key gangster, no, low-key shady, then you have to decide whether you really can't live without this person or are you just using that person because you don't want to be alone, okay? And that's not fair. So I feel there is a lot of love in the relationships that you have, but one person might be toxic and from the past and one person might be the from the present and they're very good, they're balancing, okay? So that, that's very good for March. The relationship can be healed, but you have to talk about it. You have to, oh, you gotta do a couple of steps. You gotta have that getaway. You gotta have that um, uh, romantic dinner, um, the romantic breakfast that you make. You have to have a uh, horizontal mambo, okay? Anyhow, now let's talk about April. Let's talk about April. Let's talk about April. Okay, five of autumn. These are beautiful cards. These are my fairy cards. Okay, so April. There's no way to hold this phone so that my face looks a little bit skinnier because it looks like a bubble. Even though I took my thyroid medicine today, I did, but I didn't take it yesterday, but that's okay. Okay, so reach out to others. This is April. April for Scorpios 2022. Almost said 2029. Will I even be alive? Who knows? Anyhow, um, in the five of autumn, reach out to others for assistance. Scorpio, it's really hard for you to reach out for assistance. You want to do it all on your own. It's very hard for you to say, hey, I need help. You just rather complain and say, I got to do all of this. Why 
you know, why is God punishing me? No, God's not punishing you, Scorpio. You have to talk to God more. The spirit guides were saying, you have to do your spiritual awareness. Um, you've done your psychic awareness. Now you have to do, and your creative awareness. Now you have to do your spiritual awareness. And that just means talk to the people who have passed. Um, talk to your guides, talk to your guardian angels. If you, even if you don't know their names, just say guardian angel or Archangel Michael or um, dear God, Jesus, Mother Mary, Lady Guadalupe, um, please help me with this problem, okay? And see what happens in your life when you do that. More time needs to be directed to that, okay? Reach out to others for assistance. Reach out to others for help. Poor, poor timing for a career change. So March, it's okay to expand and opportunities are coming in in March. Okay, Scorpio? But, however, April, they're saying stay with whatever you have in April. So, um, feeling challenged by money issues. Okay, so there's going to be some opportunities coming in March. Don't squander it. Put a lot of money away. If you want a restaurant, then you have to do, do a restaurant from your house um, because it's cheaper that way and have your friends come over and family come over to judge it um, and also give you a tip. Um, but by April, things will be even tighter. So it's, it's not saying that your dreams won't be manifesting. They will, but you have to keep on pushing yourself to dream, to be a manifester, to write down in your journal what you want. Okay, so that's April, and then we have May. King of Spring, innovative, inspiring, wise, theatrical. Oh, so this is May. Okay, you're gonna be the King of Spring. So you're gonna feel more free. You're gonna feel like maybe you can make that trip that you wanted to make, even if it's just a couple of days. Um, innovative, inspiring, uh, financial windfall. So hold on for March, hold on for April. You know, get things started in March. You're gonna see that glimmer of hope. People are gonna be attracted to you. People are gonna to wanna to ask you questions and you should ask them questions and ask for help. If you have a question, if you have a problem, you have to reach out for help. Don't complain, ask. Don't complain, explain, okay? A financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter of the cause. My car just moved back and forth. Is that you, spirit, or just the wind? Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Jerk. All right, so your leadership skills are needed now, an unexpected supporter of your cause. Okay, yeah, somebody is coming. Somebody's fixing to come. They might even be around you. They might be watching you um, some way, somehow. They might have heard about you. Okay, they might be interested in you um, in a business sense, in a sense of, I would like to do business with this person. I would like to do business with Scorpio because Scorpio has these skills, these special skills. So Scorpio, first you have to believe in yourself before anybody else is going to put their money on you, before anybody else is going to say, hey, let me let the bank lend you money to open up your restaurant or let the bank oh you know lend you money to open up some sort of business okay um you got to believe in yourself but they're saying that that dream that you have is going to come out okay may 2022 may 2022 that's what you're gonna do that's what you're gonna do, Scorpio. May 2022. That was extra creepy. All right. This is like turning into a horror show. Don't you love it, Scorpio? You like scary stuff. Okay. So now June. One of my favorite months. June and July. But June especially because June was... I like the beginning of June because I knew it was the end of the year with the kids in school. And... It was spring and start of summer and it was warm and flowers and creative art projects that I don't do anymore with kids, but I do it myself. Anyhow, 
sock that I got in the post office today out of the garbage can. I ripped it off. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go there one day. I think it looks like grease. Doesn't it look like grease? I said, I'm going to go there and I'm going to make that into a canvas. Okay. Yeah. I took it straight out of the garbage can. Okay. And I also have to show you what Ruby sent me. Ruby, stop being so generous. Everybody, stop being so generous with Katrina. Okay? Save your money for yourself. All right. Anyhow, in June, Scorpio, six of spring, wonderful news is on its way. S smart choices that bring rewards. Oh, I just, did you see that dip in my energy? Sorry, I need a DC break. I'm doing pretty good because I'm not blathering on. I'm getting some pages done. I'm getting the cards done. This is June 2022. Six of spring. Look at clearly at this picture. Looks like one of my canvases that I collage. Okay. Oh, I just saw a tiger. Okay, anyhow. Wonderful news, June 2022. Wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition, Scorpio. You might say, oh, I'm shy. I don't want anybody to recognize me. But you really do. Come on, Scorpio. You want to be recognized for something great that you do, something great you're going to invent, something great that you're going to have a business on. Sorry, I had to pause for a burp burping session okay I'm taking down my hair because I look like I am a balding man okay <laughs> and I can't have that now I look like a witch but it doesn't matter all right Scorpios are saying get to it okay here we go here we go starting to shift with someone okay Scorpio um, I'm lucky to be alive and I want to do as much as I can so S Scorpios are saying that but some people might be saying that to you Scorpio I'm lucky these words I'm lucky to be alive and I want to do as much as I can oh and there was a lot of Scorpios that might have had the virus and got over the virus but it was so scary it felt like death it felt like um, because it is, it's dangerous, a dangerous situation. And this um, Scorpio is out there that had a car accident because they just showed me a car. They showed me several cars and they went like, Ouch. so there's a couple of Scorpios out there maybe with leg problems or knee problems, back problems from that said accident. And so you have a new outlook on life and you're like, you know what? I almost died. I'm lucky to be alive and I want to do as much as I can. I want to fulfill my bucket list. I want to fulfill my dreams that I started and I never finished or that I used to do when I was in my 20s. And then I just, life got complicated and I said, I can't do that because I got to be mature. And what Katrina is telling you is, yes, you can. Scorpio, get out and play. Yay. Scorpio, come out and play. Yay. All right. Those of you who are from the 70s and 80s will know that movie um, with the two beer bottles on it. Okay. But I don't do my beer anymore. Did you notice I don't do my beer? Um, maybe, maybe when it gets warmer out, I'll do my beer. Um, with two shots of vodka to get me going. I talk like I'm an alcoholic, but I'm not. I'm really not. I watch myself. I watch myself. I do. Okay, anyhow. So pay attention to drive. Oh my gosh. I didn't read this. This I've written a long time ago when I, 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 I said, I'm going to write two pages for Scorpio because I kept on hearing Scorpio needs a message. Scorpio needs a message. But this was a while ago. Now, I just said the thing about Scorpios out there that had a driving accident. 
I was talking to a Scorpio friend and I saw all mud on her truck or the truck that she was in with a friend. And I, I asked her that. Are you driving too fast or your person driving too fast through mud? And she said, well, it was raining and it was slippery and there was mud on the truck. And I was like, uh, check, please, check, please, check, please. Validation, validation. Okay. The check is in the mail. All right. Anyhow. What else can I do? Should I juggle something? <laughs> okay. I'm going to start reading my Dr. Seuss books to you if you don't watch. Okay. So, I'm lucky to be alive. Be careful with driving, okay? Or even being a passenger in somebody's car, okay, Scorpio? Pay attention to driving. Muddy, rain. Oh, my gosh. I got the chills when I said that. So you're finding the child within you, Scorpio, to find your happiness. Birds are very important. Um, use your creativity. Birds are messengers from heaven. Birds are people that have passed that love you and they want to tell you, keep on going, Scorpio. I still watch over you, Scorpio. I love you so much. You might not have even known me that much because I was your grandfather or your grandmother or your cousin, whatever. But, or your spouse or your uh, child. There's a lot of, there's some Scorpios out there that lost a child. Somebody just went three, three. Okay. Those children are waiting for you in heaven when it's your time. But right now, they want you to do what your passion is. They want you to be with somebody who's telling you how beautiful you are, how handsome you are, how dynamic you are, how wonderful at your craft or your art or your singing, your musician, or whatever it is that you have as a hobby. They, they want you with your soulmate energy. And some of you already are with them. It's just that something has to be worked out. Something has to be ironed out. You have to get on the same page with the other person. Okay? So pay attention to your driving. You're finding the child within. Birds are important. Use your crea creativity. Reconnect with friends. Realization. Recognition. Speak your truth. Yes. Stop hiding behind being scared to speak your truth. If you don't feel so passionate, there's a reason for that. Okay? Male and female. Male and female. This is for the masculine and the masculine divine and the and the feminine divine. This is for the male and female. Doesn't matter who you are, what sex you are, okay? Um you're not feeling so great hormonally. Get your hormones checked. Um there might just be something missing from your diet, more protein, um more uh, they're showing me like a fruit drink, but not with the sugar. They're showing me like a Gatorade. Um, electrolytes. Get your electrolytes up. Scorpios tend to be thin because um, they're controlled. They're controlled with their body. They like to control everything. Okay, but the the angels and the and the archangels and your guides are saying relax we want to see the fun side again we want to see you dancing we want to see you singing we want to see you create whatever it is that you like to create we want to see you writing more we want to see you um, talking more um, if you you have psychic abilities that you are blessed with you have to utilize them if we gave them God is saying and the angels if we gave you those gifts and talents and you're not using them, that's a shame. You know, that makes us sad. They show me a tear, okay? A purple tear, not a black tear, because that's bad. That's a bad one. Uh, uh, some Scorpios out there are gonna get a tattoo of their significant other or to represent their significant other, and it's really nice. It's, real, it's nice because it locks you into the relationship. Maybe you're gonna even get matching tattoos, and which I would say it's not a good idea to do, but in this case, I feel like it's a good idea. It's like a lock-in, and it's creative, and it's maybe you're gonna design it. 
some some of you out there might design it now I don't have any tattoos but I've been thinking about getting it but I'm such a weenie I'm too scared of the pain so anyhow it's not about me it's about the Scorpios okay water sign all right so speak your truth even if you're afraid if you're not getting what you need passion wise or love wise saying you, you want to hear somebody say I love you every morning when they wake up with you or, it, or on the phone if they don't wake up with you or they don't live in the same house you want to hear I love you and you want to say that back to them it's good luck for the day and um, you want to hear I love you before you go to sleep you'll see how nicely you'll sleep um, you want to hear good things about you um, that people appreciate and also um, you should be saying more good things about your significant other now if they're not responding to you you have to have a big talk because you Scorpios you have to make sure you have to make sure you're with the right person okay because if you're not with the right person we got to get away from that person and even be alone for a little while and ask the universe and ask God and ask the guides, please get me my soulmate, okay? On a silver platter, okay? Th that doesn't happen. You do have to do the work, but you have to be asking for it, okay? And if just th some things aren't fitting right, lining up right, you have to have a big, long talk in a romantic setting. That's why I always say, I always tell people get out of the house and go to a, a, a place that you both like. It might be a park, it might be a pub, it might be a restaurant, it might be somewhere where you're both relaxed, okay? It might be a hotel, a no-tell motel, like me and Devin went to, okay? <laughs> All right, so, uh, speak your truth, get the answers that you're seeking. Hard work. You do hard work, Scorpio, that means you need to play hard, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, you're not going to feel balanced and your hormones are going to feel off because you, when you're feeling fearful and sad or mad and you're holding it in, you're swallowing it, you're swallowing it, not expressing it, then what happens is you're just doing work and you're not playing enough, okay? So they want you to express yourself, express your feelings, express your needs. If somebody hurt your feelings, you have to tell them that they hurt you, all right? And then work through it. And then maybe they'll tell you, but you hurt my feelings. And that's how you communicate. You know, go back and forth and see how you're going to solve it. Come up with a plan, okay? And if it doesn't seem like the person cares that they hurt your feelings, then they might not be the one for you, okay? I'm sorry if I sounded mean. Um, make a plan.